Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a very, very special episode of the Co-op Core. Son. What? Of double. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to Adam. But uh, since we've last been here, there has been quite the few changes involved. Oh yeah. Let's get started. We have upgraded to the graphical oh, version. Oh, uh, well, uh, totally new player. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Whoa. All right. Um, press B. All right. So new game. Uh, generate a new character. All right. Hey, quick uh, shout out to uh, to Peruna. You've been asking for this for a while. Here you go. Quick shout out to the wolf. <laughs> you got aspects of hunt, yeah. velocity, uh, You have nature. aspects of Duran Duran. Yeah. <laughs> Dark in the dungeon and the night is a wire. <laughs> Dobo's a wolf and the dungeon's on fire. Dobo, 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 Dobo. All right. Do you want a specific character or let fate decide? A specific character, I'm assuming. So we yeah. can, we can. Okay. Um. All right, so it's it's so we're doing son of Dobo, um, so so Dobo was a dwarf. So are we gonna be a dwarf yes, too, or or are we gonna be a rattling? I would say dwarf. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, we'll keep it the legacy. All right, um, so is he gonna <clears throat> follow in his father's footsteps um, and be a merchant? Well, let, let, let's see what we got. Okay, so fighter, uh, paladin, a ranger, uh, wizard, not an assassin. Like they, these seem too practical. Yes. Um, so we do have the merchants. We have a farmer, um, a mind crafter. Necromancer, let's see, a beast fighter, a chaos knight. There's weaponsmith. Weaponsmith, that's interesting. Ooh, okay, wait, so 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 merchant has one. You see how he has the one hammer in his hand? Yes. And then the weaponsmith has two. Oh, he's got so, double hammer. Yeah, so he's like the logical progression to Dobo. I feel. I mean It's not terrible. No, it doesn't seem terrible. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> You are born to be a male dwarf. You have black hair, brown eyes, and a Rudy complexion? Rudy? Shout out to Rudy? Shout out to Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our co-worker Rudy? Uh, your parents are traveling adventurers. They're doing moderately well. Wait, what? But my dad is dead. No, he was. This is when you were born. <laughs> this is when he was born. <laughs> but are talented enough to survive. As a child, your parents cared a lot for you. Despite all circumstances, you enjoyed a happy and fine childhood. As a kid, you often watched the adult adventurers preparing for new, exciting journeys. They sparked your imagination. As a young adult, you were a credit to your family. Your parents supported your plans and were very understanding. They tried to help you along your way with all the means at their disposal. At the ripe age of 61, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned weaponsmith. Burkisha! Uh, no, we are for sure answering some questions. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here Soon you go. Soon after starting your apprenticeship, you come to realize that your master is a harsh and unjust man. Will you endure all the abuse in exchange for knowledge? Continue your apprenticeship, hoping the situation will eventually get better? Complain to your master about his behavior or run away during the night? What do you think? Run away. Oh yeah. Whoa, okay, you just took control of that one. All right, your favorite teacher discovers you trying to cheat on a test of prowess. He is very angry at you and refuses to teach you anymore. Since this was the first time and you really want him to teach you, you are horrified by this. Will you, A, try to convince him that you are a worthy student and that you will repent in whatever way he wants, including letting him touch your butt, no matter how long it takes you to appease him? Wait, what? That was weird. I don't know about that Yeah, one. wow. I don't know how I feel about A. All right, B, try to find another better teacher because you just would waste your time trying to appease him because he sucks and because he touched your butt. Um, okay, uh, option C, stop your learning efforts since you probably know enough and could make better use of your time in different pursuits. Like checking out all of our other episodes on the co-op core. That's a good. Like, that, comment, that, subscribe good. below <laughs> if, you want to see, if you want to see the best of the Dobo trilogy. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, the trilogy. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, indeed, try to learn more from a friend of yours who is still taught by the Master, avoiding any further confrontation with the Master himself. Implying Son of Dobo has friends. That's true. That's, like, he doesn't. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go with B. We try to find somebody who's better than him, because yeah. screw that guy. Evil has started to invade our world. Subtle and unnoticed at first, directly assaulting in the end. Monsters and nightmares roam the land, all signs pointing to 
towards Terinio. Hey, Terinio! Yeah. The little hamlet from before. Yep. A small wilderness hamlet. You know it's your destiny to go there because... Uh, there are bound to be untold riches just begging for a new owner. This is finally the chance to prove yourself as the greatest fighter in Antarctica. Knowledge and insights hitherto unknown to mankind are waiting to be discovered, or somebody has to save the world. Why not? Why not San Adobo? Why not San Adobo? After many years of toil, you have completed your apprenticeship. Do you thank your master politely and set out into the world, confident that you have learned everything you need to know? Seek to learn more from your master, believing that he still has more knowledge to share. Slay your master so that nobody else will learn his knowledge and be able to compete with you. Seek a new master to increase your knowledge on your chosen profession. Your choice. Oh, my choice? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you turn into Yoda at the end there? <laughs> Your choice. Your choice it is. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking that since Dobo has no father now, no one will have a master. We're all yeah. just lone wolves trying to make it in this world. <laughs> While shopping, you spot someone stealing something from the shop. Will you? Tell the shopkeeper. B. Stop the thief and pursue him if needed. Hope the shopkeeper sees him stealing, or just ignore him. So, the American choice. <laughs> yeah, you. Do, I was gonna say like you just ignore him because. So know, okay, this is what you have. You have I don't know this guy's life. This is the American choice, and this is the American choice. <laughs> so all right, this is one. I'm, I'm, I'm. This is a very vague question. One, I don't know what he's stealing. Am I shopping for food? Is it an apple? I don't know who it is. Is okay. it a child stealing an apple or like an old man stealing a loaf of bread? Because these things are things I would look the other way. Well, okay, but- But if it was like a dog stealing a sword, I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> somebody tell that guy, <laughs> calm down. Okay, but here's my counterpoint. Uh, we always have to remember uh, this guy's lineage. He comes from Dobo, one of the best merchants of the land. That's like, true. you know, he, he, he would try to stop him. Well, yeah, but like, if the shopkeeper doesn't know, I think I would say tell the shopkeeper to hope that the shopkeeper would keep a better eye out for that okay. kind of crap in the future, you know? While playing in the fields during your childhood, your attention is attracted by something glinting in the sunlight. It turns out to be a ring, definitely pretty, maybe even precious. <laughs> Will you put it on to see how it will look on you? Will you show it to your parents just in case there's something wrong with it? Will you try to trade it with your friends, or will you keep on searching in hope of finding more treasures? Uh, try to trade it with your friends, and you'll give it to them freely. <laughs> will you willingly give it to them? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with that, because uh, this is very clearly the beginning of the Lord of the Rings series. Yes, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> when exploring a long-forgotten shed in the woods on a very cold night, you discover Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> you discover a chest with many ancient books and parchment scrolls. Will you take some time and study the text despite the cold weather? Burn the text to heat the shed in order to be comfortable. Take the scrolls and books back to your home in order to study them a bit and sell them to local merchants. Or ignore your findings in order to get back to your home quickly and find a warm place. I would go with C. You go with C? Yeah. I follow in my father's footsteps. <laughs> sell that. Sell it up. <clears throat> you are a witness to a crime. You are called to the stand. The defendant is not guilty of that crime, you know, but he did steal from your brother. Objection! <laughs> Will you falsely attest his guilt to avenge your brother's honor? Will you claim that he was guilty just for fun? <laughs> will you attest the truth and call him out for your own vendetta? Or will you tell the truth but let the vendetta die here and now? Oh, D is the most dramatic choice. No, fuck this kid. He messed up our brother. That's true. Yeah, we have to avenge him. What's our brother's name? Um, I don't know. All right, what well. is our name? Obo. We're Obo, son of Dobo? Yes. So, uh... So his son's name is Adobo. His, his, your brother's name is Adobo. No, it's, it's, it's your oldest brother. It's it's Obo, it's, it's Obo, son of Dobo, son of Adobo. So Adobo. Oh, is Adobo our is the grandfather. Yeah. Okay, so then, so okay, well then, what do you think his name should be? Bo Bodo. Bo Bo Bobo. Bobo. No, that's a clown. So Bodo. Bodo. Bodo and Obo. All right. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, so we will avenge his honor. Um, will you will you fight evil? 
by battling evil creatures whenever you see them, by trying to understand the cause and preventing it, by repairing the damage everywhere you go, or by trying to become a leader and steering your followers to another course. I mean, you saw that picture. He had two hammers. Two hammers. He is battling evil Let's creatures. Let's battle it. <laughs> Let's duel. <laughs> your father has apprenticed you to the local smith. Do you, A, happily accept this, this position, believing that it is your chosen calling, grudgingly accept, not wanting to shame your father, adamantly refuse? <laughs> Adam? Adamantly? Adamantly. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there, game. Setting out on your own path and alienating your family? Or will you pretend to accept but plan to run away as soon as the opportunity presents itself? I think A, because he became a weaponsmith. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, absolutely. It is it. clearly his chosen calling. Oh, okay, so this is the one from last time is what we're going to bring with us. All right, so just like last time, our master is going to give us a farewell gift. So is it going to be a pair of sexy boots like his father got? Uh, is it going to be a slender dagger? Which, I mean, you're a weaponsmith, so I feel like you already are going to have a lot of weapons, and so um, mm, I'm kind of in on that one. A small pouch of coins to help you get past the worst, or a final few bits of advice. Boots. Boots again? Boots again. It's gotta like be father, boots. like son, I like, always it's say. It's got to be the boots. Dwarves need boots. After ending your apprenticeship... Oh. <laughs> After ending your apprenticeship, you travel the country for several per years performing odd jobs in order to earn a living. While wandering the wilderness during an especially unrewarding winter month, you come across another traveler, gravely injured by wolves and barely conscious. Will you strip the traveler of everything valuable and leave him to die? Strike the killing blow of mercy, thus sparing him days of suffering with hardly any chance of survival? Camp for a few days and try to aid him as best as your skills permit, or carry him to the next village. Alright, so we're a weaponsmith. So we're probably already carrying a lot of weapons. We can't carry, if you'll excuse the pun, some dead weight. <laughs> That's fair. And, um, like father, like son, we mercy kill, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, mercy killers. Yep. All the way. Alright, so we only get one talent here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, let's go, um, hey, clubs and hammers. Yeah. Oboe. Oboe. Son of Dobo. No! Okay, so Oboe. Whoa! And we'll be right back. Yeah. See you guys next time on Future Core. <laughs>